हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू एंड कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अबाउट द सुपर थर्टी कॉलेजेस ऑफ कर्नाटका विच इज द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ यू नो द कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट एंड यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ अश्वथ नारायण हु इज द एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका and have announced you know a great initiative so that you know karnataka engineering colleges can be improved and they can be in the line with the top iits and iits and the other nrf rank colleges right so this is a big step towards that so if you see what, what is the reason why it is triggered to have a 30 best colleges uh, right to improve them right so the reason is that if you see from nrf uh, ranking perspective there are only 25 colleges from from karnataka which are there in the you know top 300 colleges so only 25 out of top 300 colleges are from karnataka but if you know that karnataka tamil nadu and the maharashtra are the top most destination for private engineering college and students for education perspective right so that means we are lagging behind and with that aim in mind right government has uh, you know education ministry in karnataka has decided to upgrade 30 colleges you know so that it meets the global standards and uh, uh, it will be able to basically so what has been decided in this july this year that you know state had launched this initiative and this 30 colleges are not going to be in one particular city but it will be in 30 but 30 districts across karnataka so each district will have one or two colleges right so that's why this scheme is called super 30s target right and this is aim with aim of providing creating iits of tomorrows right and this is as per the you know government's five year plan of regional ecosystem for technical excellence excellence right so lot of you know student strength and employment will come from the tier 2 and tier 3 cities and not just the tier 1 cities like bangalore right so lot of uh, em employment will happen in tier 2 and tier 3 cities so with that target in mind you know government has created super 30 program out of which 14 colleges are will be government colleges and 16 colleges will be private colleges right so in this video i will explain all those 14 colleges and 6 government and 16 private which are going to be the next set where government is going to invest a good amount of money every college will get good infrastructure good you know placement team good you know quality of education good faculty so that it can compete with other top notch institutes in india like which like of institutes of science iits iim and i right so this are the it's a public private partnership between the government and the uh, those institution owners right in case of private institutions so let me start with the you know first with the private colleges so there are 16 private college i am going to discuss and since this is a time where you are going to take admission you can give an importance to those colleges because it will draw a lot of attention from government their funds and everything will improve right and uh, that, that's the reason i will start with the private college and i will give my commentary and i have already made videos for most of them right so you can actually go and check their uh, you know videos also to decide if that is meeting your cut off ranks and uh, you can take those colleges based on your suitability or be based on your location where you are currently based right so let me start with first college private colleges <clears throat> so this is the first private college if you can read it's angadi institute of technology and management ang aitm it is called and it is a uh, based out of you know belagam belagam or belagavi right so this is one of the decent options for you in terms of placements and if you are from that belagam region you can definitely take this college and i have made a review of this college so i will give the link in the description for all of these reviews which i am talking here but on high level you can take this college so this is the first college on the list the second college is called chenna baseshwara institute of technology and it's cit engineering college and it is based out of tumkur so this college is also ict approved and very close to bangalore and it has got 500 plus students got placed in this year placement right so if you want to stay very close to bangalore this is one of the option in the tumkur which is just 50 kilometers and i have made a review of this college right so we review video review of this college is in the you know link a description link you can check there the third college in the list is called shri madhava vadiraj institute of technology and management smv itm and this college is located in the mangalore region right and this also is a very beautiful infrastructure college with a decent placement it has shown so if you are in the mangalore region you can definitely take this and they have also put their website that they are proud to be part of government super 30 initiative right so this is the infrastructure and the placement link you can get in the description box 
The fourth college on the list is basically GSS IETW, right, which is the Super 30 Model Engineering College based out of, uh, you know, Mysore. So this is also one of the uh, only engineering college, which is the women only engineering college in Karnataka. And this has shown very good placements. 700 plus girls have been placed on this college in this year. And the highest salary has also been close to 19 to 20 lakhs. So I have made a review for this week college also. It's there in the video link. You can check if you are a girl student. So next college on the link is, you know, Dr. Thimaya Techno Institute of Technology, Dr. Thimaya Institute of Technology, which is in Kolar district, just 120 kilometers from Bangalore. And this college is a NAC A grade college. So in itself, it is a good achievement for this college already. And uh, I'll make a review of this college also. The next college on the list is called BVV Sangha's Biluru Gorobaishwar Mahaswami Institute of Technology Mudol. So this is, uh, uh, you know, the college infrastructure you can see and uh, this will get a lot of attention now from the government. It's a private engineering college and uh, soon also I will cover the, you know, placement review of this college. But you can consider if you are in that particular region. The next college on the list is VP Dr. P.G. Halakati College of Engineering and Technology and this is based on Vijayapura or Bijapur in, in Karnataka and I have made a review of this college. This college also has shown a very good placements and uh, you can definitely take this college if you are that part of Northern Karnataka and uh, placement link is also there in the video uh, description box. The next college on the list is Adi Chunchigiri Institute of Technology or AIT Chikmangalur. So it is based of the, uh, you know, Chikmangalur region and uh, it's a quite decent placement again. Around 500 students got placed and this is part of the same group, BGS group, right, which, which has the SJB Institute of Technology in Bangalore. So this college also has a decent placement record and all good companies from Bangalore are visiting there. So you can check the placement of this college in the description box link. And similar to, you know, the uh, Adichin Chigri Institute, which are part of SJB group, this is another college, SJCIT Institute of Chika, in Technology, SJCICT in Chikabalopur. And this has also shown 800 plus placement softwares, which I have created a video. So you can check. So it's the same SJB, SJC and, uh, you know, AIT, which is Chikmangalur, three colleges of the same group and all are having a decent placement records. So the next college on the list is uh, PES Institute of Technology and Management. So it's a part of this PES group of colleges and they have colleges outside Bangalore as you know, PES College of Engineering in Mandya and this is one is in Shimoga. So this college also has shown a decent placement track record and I have created a video for this also. So you can check the placement link here and it's a Shimoga Northern Karnataka part of it. So the next college on the list is the Jan College of Engineering and Technology is in Hubli, right? And this is also part of the Jan group of institution which you have a Jan University in Bangalore. And you can see they have proud to be in the super 30 part of this government initiative. And uh, they are also having a decent placements. And I have created a Jan Hubli placement video which you can find in the link below. The next college on the link is called Vivekanand College of Engineering and Technology Puttur. So this is college is also, you know, uh, located out of uh, central to North Karnataka. And uh, if you are looking for this, I can create a video uh, review of this college. The next college on the list is Bhimanna College of uh, Bhimanna Kandre uh, Institute of Technology, Balki, right? Earlier, this college was known as Rural Engineering College uh, in Balki. And uh, this is also one of the options for students who are that with the region, right? So in case you are interested, I can create a video. The next college on the list is a quite old college. It's called Tonta Darya College of Engineering and it is also part of the Gadag which is in the northern Karnataka region, right? So this is also one of the top 16 selected private colleges where government is going to invest, you know. And then the next college on the list is Rao Bahadur Mahabal Mahabalisharappa Engineering College and this college is, uh, you know, currently a B plus B plus plus NAC accreditation. And this is one of the options for students. The next college on the list is Virappa Nisti Engineering College. And this college is located out of Shorapur. So this is uh, you know, another option for students who are in that region. If they want to check about the review about this college and uh, decide if they want to go for it. So this is the 16 private engineering colleges. And now I'm going to give about 14 government engineering colleges which are there. 
so these are the 14 government colleges where also government is going to put a big effort to improve the infrastructure because currently these government college have a comparatively lower placement some of them have a very good placement but i will so if you see from the top chamraj nagar government engineering college chalkere hasna uh, and hasna hasan engineering college haveri kushal nagar talakadu krishna pet raichur ramnagar karwar who will not do engineering colleges so these are there in bangalore you can see there is only one college which is called xks gti which is the government college so that will also get a facelift and good amount of investment is going to come in sks jti which is based out of bangalore earlier you know uvc for uvc also government has decided to give it an autonomous stage so uvc also placements are going to improve as well as sk gti in bangalore right if you see in davangire university bdt college of engineering so this is a government college and it will also get a good amount of attention this program so i have made a review for university bdt college of engineering also uh, which is davangire and i'm giving the link in if you want to join this you can join today also it is a quite good decent placements and the last college on the list is VTU, Vishwar Technology University, PG Center, which is based out of Gulbarga or Kalburgi district. So that is the last option. So this is last 14 government college and 16 private college, which I mentioned. Total 30 colleges are government's area of interest to develop it in the lines of IITs and the other premium trip, you know, NITs, right? So a lot of them will become in you know, a top 10 and top 15 colleges later in the future if they come at like as per the government plan and investments they are going to make. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get similar important updates. Take care.